this cold this morning. Hello, welcome to a behind the scenes vlog with a lovely camera. Camera? There is a lovely camera in the car, that's true. But there's also a lovely flower that's right here. And um, those that have seen videos of my girlfriend's Fiat 500 in the past will know that this is a very, very girly car. It sounds mean in this 0.9. It's telling me it's minus one degrees outside with possible ice on the road. Thank you, Fiat. That's a nice little touch, and it's going to take ages for the car to warm up. It's only a 0.9, and I learned yesterday that the smaller the engine, the longer it takes for the heaters to come on. So I'm going to sit around, chat to you about today, and why you are watching this video. So today I'm really excited about the uh, cars that are on, going to be on display, but also available to drive, and it's the first time that I've really been given the opportunity to get behind the wheel of something powerful, something exciting, and even more exciting than my Audi R8. And now, I've only driven a handful of cars. I can count them on this hand. I've driven this car, Fiat 500. I've driven my Vauxhall Astra. I've driven my mum's 1.4 Ford Focus. And I've driven my own Audi R8. So there's not a uh, great selection of cars that I've driven. So I don't have that much driving experience on uh, different cars, how they handle, how they accelerate, how the engine performs and everything like that. So what I'm gonna try and do is give you my first opinions my first um, impressions of each car that I drive today and the two cars that uh, Supercar Experiences have uh, saved for me is the Lamborghini LP560-4 Spider and also the Aston Martin DBS Volante. They're both completely different cars. One's a V12, one's a V10. The Aston Martin is definitely more of a sports super Grand Tourer whereas the Lamborghini is just a true supercar. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at Supercar Experiences and I've got the Aston Martin DBS Volante, the taxi that we had from SB2 here and I'm almost about to get behind the driver's wheel. So I'm filming two or three videos today. I'm filming this vlog, which is going live, obviously, um, well, you're watching it, so it's already live. But then I'm gonna be showing you the Lamborghini LP560 review and also the Aston Martin DBS Volante review. <laughs> Next up is the Lamborghini LP560-4 Spider. Definitely a dream supercar. Maybe not the uh, convertible for me, but definitely the coupe is an option for my second supercar. And it's in a fantastic white with the black wheels and the yellow brake calipers. Let's uh, jump in and check out what it's like inside getting in the Lamborghini. suspension is completely different in this car than it is to the Aston Martin. It's set up, uh, well, it feels like it's set up for the racetrack. It's a lot harder than my Audi R8 and uh, anything that I've ever driven before. And I knew that this car was going to be um, quite harsh to get you to feel everything that you're driving. And that is one thing, my first impressions, you do feel everything that you're driving this car. You feel every bump, you feel every gear change, and you definitely feel when you put your foot down cool thing about driving this car is this exact road that I'm about to go on was the first road that I ever had a ride in a Lamborghini. It was a green LP560. And this stretch of road is bringing back um, a lot of memories of the first time that I ever went out in the LP560, the fastest car that I'd ever been out in. And now, six years on, I'm driving one down the same stretch of road, which is absolutely an incredible experience. 
So the final bit to today's vlog is I'm now in the passenger seat of the awesome LP560-4 owned by Supercar Experiences and I've also filmed the first impressions of the DBS and this car being able to get behind the wheel. I'm still shaking, awesome experiences and I can't wait for you guys to see uh, what I've been getting up to. By no means have I been pushing the car to the limit. There's no, uh, I mean, I've just got not, I haven't got the confidence or the racetrack to do it, so um, it's just been a great opportunity to get behind the wheel and get some miles behind, especially in the LP560, as it's um, a car that I'm looking to get my hands on after the Audi R8, but it's so much faster than my car. And um, now we're heading up north, so I'm going to be using the Lamborghini's um, cockpit as my office for today as we travel up north and um, grab some food on the way. I've got absolutely no battery left, but we've pulled into the service station and come across this unbelievable car. It was seen in London over the weekend. I've got no battery left, so I'll be quick. But this is a gold wrapped DMC Aventador Roadster that has apparently been here for the last three days. Um, but just check this out. So my day is complete um, after seeing the gold chrome DMC Aventador Roadster at a random service station car park. So um, that's it, thanks for watching. Stay tuned over the next few days for my videos of driving the uh, cars of Supercar Experiences. And I uh, want to say a huge shout out to Supercar Experiences and Mr. Supercar Hire on Twitter. All of the details are in the description below for such an awesome day of driving some amazing cars. So much more to come but for now, my battery's died. Cheers guys.